Got some more Don Ross. Have some fat packs, cellos. You know, kind of. I don't know. Heard them called both ways. Uh, I would. I kind of like the name Fat Pack. I mean, that looks more like a fat pack of cards. Got three of these and one more blaster. So we're gonna kind of see what we get. You know, we're really looking for that signature auto of the blaster. Here on the Fat Pack, Cello, whatever you want to call them, you're looking for the exclusive green and yellow lasers. Uh, the blaster you get to see orange and purple. So trying to get these hollows, <clears throat> these parallels and everything. Uh, let's see if we're looking here. Do number base hollow red and blue laser is number to 15. Uh, base hollow and green is not numbered. Rated rookies hollow and green laser. Rated rookie rookies hollow and green or hollow red and blue la la uh, laser number to 15. Uh, signature. So we're really honestly. We're looking for red and blue. We're not really looking for the green and yellow. You get a red or blue, you're doing really good. Um, looking on here, red laser, number 99. So yeah, you don't really want this these two colors, red or, or green or yellow. You really want the red or blue out of these. We'll look at, we'll look at the Don Ross box here a little, a little more in a second. And kind of see what really should we be looking for. Yeah, kind of already see what's all back there. What we got doesn't look red, unfortunately. Okay, Giannis, Kevin, Hater, Gordon, Luca. I'm trying to remember how to say that. Denny, I think, Evadingi or something, Evadingi, Malik Bleasley, yeah, Saban Lee, Clay Thompson, Evan Foyer, ah! Now, Miles Bridges, man, a little hard to see. We got Derrick Rose, Horton Tucker, Leverett, Gordert, Finley Smith, Okoro, Bow, Harris, Malik. Bridges. That must have been, yeah, this is his brother. Miles and Malik. Julius Randle. It's like Maxi Keebler. Drew Holiday. All right, well, maybe getting our, to our Raider rookies. You got a Jeremiah Earl. Sorry, Jeremiah Robinson Earl. Got a auto of this guy from uh, Mojo Break. Franz Wagner, a lot of people have been wanting him. Quentin Grimes, don't know. Ooh, there's J.K. Jonathan Kaminga, and wow, both green and yellow. So I guess that's what it's called. It's a green and yellow. Huh. So that's one card, a green and yellow. Okay, that's, I guess I misread that. So there's only one thing: is green and yellow um, parallel, laser parallel. Okay, interesting. We got a Kevin Porter franchise features, and a Raider rookie. Okay, nice, nice. Zaire Williams for the Grizz. Okay, I like how. Depending on how they made the card, you know, you got it kind of half here, a half up here on this guy. And then here, half and half here. I like that. That's nice. Hmm. Let's do another one of these. Uh, I guess we'll do all three of these packs. I was thinking about saving the cello to the end. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what we get here. We got something big, we may go open the next one. Tristan Thomas, Stephen Curry, Andrew Wiggins, Westbrook, Westbrook Ingram, Tucker, Bain. He's been doing pretty good. Peyton, 
Jason Tatum. All right. Kendrick Nunn. P.J. Washington Jr. Kevin Love. Make sure to keep staying in focus here. Looks like I'm going to try to get out of focus. Jordan Clark Clarkson. R.J. Hampton. Ooh, there's Daniel Gafford. I had another one of him earlier and it looked different. They looked that up. Eric Blitzo. CJ McCollum. Joe Ingles. Darren Fox. Tim Hardaway Jr. Marcus Smart. The OG. All right. Back to our array of rookies. Miles Bridge. Here's just a regular Zaire. Uh, did we get him? Nope. Isaiah Livers, Pristons, Trey Mann, not a bad one to get, o OKC. All right, so our first green and yellow for the Suns, DeAndre Aiden. Uh, Joe M L Mbeeb, Power in the Paint. Yeah, I would say Power in the Paint for this guy. And we get a franchise features of the... Le of the Ball Brothers, pretty much. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know. What do we do? Do we go? Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead. Ah, maybe not. Maybe this is a sign we shouldn't do it. We should just hold. We hold. Guess not. We're going for it. All right. Gary Trent. Go oh, wrong spot. Cameron Johnson, Jorick, Jordan Jackson, Tyrese Halliburton, <coughs> John B. There we go. Him again. Tristan Thompson, Steph, Andrew again, RJ Barrett. So they just got an RJ Barrett. It looked different than that. I don't know. <clears throat> Harris, Warrior. Conley, Barton, Jalen Brown, doo -doo -doo, Irving, Stephen Adams, Oban, Anthony Edwards, Ant Man. All right. So here's some of our Raider rookies. We got a Cameron Thomas. That's nice. Jalen Springer, Chris Durant. That's nice. We got, ooh, there we go. Dusumbi, I think. Dusuni, Dusuni. All right, and we got a Jalen Brown of the green and yellow. Power in the paint, Carl Anthony Towns. And a Joe and Beeb franchise features. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's look on this. First series of, you know, of these. I didn't look at the box just a whole lot. Take the cards out and we look at the box. See what what we're maybe really going for. Oh, security card. Security! Security! I remember when I started really kind of going to finding boxes and in stores. I uh, scanned, self scanned at a Walmart some cards. And uh, I guess a security code didn't really go over like it was supposed to. Or maybe I just rushed it. And I try to walk out, and the thing starts beep, 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 beep. A little lady rushes over. What do you got? What do you got? I'm like, well, here's my receipt. So I definitely paid for it. All right. So the. Purple is out number to 99. You can see that there. So. Rookie Signatures Purple Laser is number to 15. Magicians. Which we got. In our previous thing, we got a magician. That's, so that's randomly inserted. Okay, that's kind of. Short print. 
do expectations. Well, maybe not a short print. It's just an insert. So we're really, we're really looking for purple. That's all we're really looking for on these. We kind of just need some purple. Purple it is. Purple it is. Okay. Let's see. Maybe we'll get some purple. All right. PJ Washington, Crowder, Young, Harold, Rosen, Bay, Miles. There's a there's Miles McBridge and another one of these franchise features, Donovan Mitchell. Get a lot of those tonight. Tonight, 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 tonight. All right, Gary Trent Jr., Cameron Johnson. Nikola Jovic, or whatever the hell you say his name. Malachi Flynn, LaMelo, LaMelo, LaMelo. Bagley, Porter, and our first orange laser, Brian For uh, Forbes. Never heard of him. <laughs> Never heard of the guy. Never, never, never heard of it. All right, Jackson, Halliburton. So, this Halliburton's cards go down since he got traded. There's a thing in the hobby. Um, it really is more for like, baseball prospects. But there, there is a thought process within the hobby that if you get a player... That is in a, you know his rookie uniform. So like first Bowman, say they're in you know a Twins uniform or something. That's who drafted them, and they get traded. That the card value will go down for that player because he will no longer be in that uniform. Now some say it should go up because it kind of almost it kind of limits it. You know, makes that card even more limited, being like, hey, you know, he's no longer in the Twins uniform. He's in, you know, a Blue Jays uniform or something. Well, it's kind of crazy how some of the hobbies, like, well, you know, yeah, it should make it go up, should go to make it go down. Well, same thing with this guy. I mean, look, you know, maybe this dude right here, this rookie, it's a Raider rookie, I kind of equivalent um, to a first Bowman, not as strong is that I guess it's how to say it. it's between a first Bowman and just a top rookie card if you want to compare those um, little less than a first Bowman probably a little more than just saying a rookie card um, but you know this guy's in the, the Knicks uniform well if he gets traded much like Halliburton did you know all his Rated rookies and stuff are going to be in the Sacramento's cards or Sacramento uniform. Well, now he's with the Pacers. Like, what if in the next year or two, like he just absolutely destroys the league? Does that bring down his value of those cards because they're you know he's now with the Pacers and he's not with the the Kings and all the cards you get of him are with the Kings? I don't know. It's kind of one of those debates within the uh, community people have. Zaire again, and Reggie Bullock. I don't really think that it makes a difference. Maybe that should be the question for today. Do you think it makes a difference if a prospect, you know, like his first Bowman, his rated rookie, whatever, you know, his rookie card, if he's, you know, blows up years later and he's no longer in that car, in that uniform, does that really make a difference? I will say this, probably one of the greatest football players, actually the greatest in my opinion, Tom Brady, stuff with him still in a Patriot uniform, sells a little bit better even down the line, great expectations, down the line than his stuff that sell, that's um, him in a Buccaneers uniform. His original team uniform. Does seem to sell a little better. Now, some of the prices may have gotten a little closer to each other, but 
there for a while, you can tell. Man, why are they upside down? Danny Green, Tobias. Ah, oh, keep seeing this. You're like, oh yeah, and then you're like, oh, poor dude. Everybody's gonna be pulling packs of all this stuff. Every time they see, if they see this first, they're gonna be, yeah, and then oh yeah, oh yeah, oh. that's poor you. Oh, Barkley, throw that card there. Ah, uh, how you like to be the guy who's every card people get, every card they see, they're like, oh, Jordan Poole. A lot of people were betting on him. Warriors are loaded. I think you got green right here. Warriors are loaded. They, you know, had two top 15 picks this last year. I know their players are getting older. They got already the replacements there with them. Don't know. Brown and Precious. I mean, from a personal standpoint, I hope they do. I hope Moody stays there. Has a huge career. You know, one of the best players in the NBA. Would love that. Awesome. Riccio. Kelly. Irving. Kwame. You know. Got his championship, went to the Clippers, and don't really, I don't really hear much from him. And then Trey Mann and Danny Golinari. Yes, you know, play for a championship and play for the money. He got his championship, now he can play for the money. Walker, Walker, <laughs> Russell. Steven Adams, Oban, Ant-Man, Buddy, and rated rookie Scotty Barnes. There we go. That's little Scotty Barnes. Didn't know it, didn't realize it. Saw a tweet about it from Moses' mom that Scotty Barnes and Cade Cunningham and Moses Moody all played on the same high school team. I don't know if that was just the high school high school team or one of those like high school travel teams or something. I think they did play at an academy a year together. Cameron Payne, John Collins, up, oh, Kai Jones, and Alexander. All right. All right. LeBron. Christian Wood, Alex Burks, Ross, Murray, Paul, Carlos, and Bradley Bill. Kind of surprised he wasn't traded. All right, last pack. Nuts. Doing so hot so far with uh, Don Ross basketball. Durant. They have so much stuff. I mean, there's no telling how many cards they have out there. Bassey and we end with Wendell Carter Jr. Laser. Okay. Tons of cards. Tons and tons of cards. Um, a lot of people have been, you know, seeing them on the shelves sit for a day or two, which is really, when you think about it, kind of unheard of. A lot of new products, when they first come out, I mean, they're gone in seconds, kind of. For this to sit, I, you know, it's one of those things. Is it sitting because it's not that desirable? Or is it sitting because people go in there and, you know, they get their first and they buy... Oops. You know, they get their first and they buy five boxes. And the next person buys five boxes. The next person buys five, five boxes. And, you know, an hour in there, ten people have come and they've all got five boxes. And there's still five boxes there, you know. is it Because there's so much there. Um, is the hobby... I don't say, I won't say the hobby's dying. Uh, that's completely false. No matter what people might want to say. People that are saying the hobby's dying... They really have an agenda behind saying that. The hobby's not dying. The hobby's adjusting. 
Uh, was there a lot of free money, I would say, when the pandemic hit? Yes. Uh, a lot of people spent some of those checks to stay home. You know, those stimulus checks. A lot of them, you know, bought things like this and stuff. So, you know, you go back and you look at some of the prices. I was looking at some boxes, just like retail boxes of mosaic and really like prism a few years ago prism football and you have like a retail box that's worth over a thousand dollars hobby boxes over two thousand dollars and people are still paying for those so you get individual cards of the big people selling for hundreds of dollars and they're selling every day on ebay so the hobby's not dying i think the hobby is adjusting i think you know, Mosaic is still a hard thing to get. Tops is never hard to get. I mean, it's never been one of those that I think people just bought beyond belief. Uh, we'll see. Contenders. Football and basketball is coming out in the next couple of months. Yes, you can get hoops. Uh, I think hoops is like Don Ross. It's your middle of the road product. A huge, like, a, I'll just say a crap ton of this stuff is going to be built or made out there so you really with this product you have to hit something you have to maybe get a signature series you have to get um like that number to 15 number to 99 you got to hit those things to really make this product worth now i think you may have to go for five or six boxes you know right now we've done three i have more coming in uh, we did three and three I'll look for more. These are not all that expensive either. So, I'll, you know, as many as I can get of these, I probably will. I like these a lot better in hoops. So, I'm going to keep getting these things. We're going to see. Um, I'll try to go mosaic. I'm trying to think what's coming out. Um, I know Patini, Panini, Contenders, Football, Hobby came out a couple weeks ago. It should be coming out in retail. Mosaic should be having some Megas coming out here soon. Um, Tops will have Bowman out next month. That is going to be something. Bowman, um, 2022 Bowman. Uh, doesn't have as many of the big names. A lot of, a really a large, large number of the big names was put at the end of the year for the Bowman draft. But Bowman's coming out. That's going to be a huge chase for me. I love Bowman. Um, it's probably my favorite product of all the sports. Um, I'm really, 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 really going to chase after that. Try to get... Um, the prices are increasing. But hobby of it is not just outrageous. Um, it's about double what hobby of Top Series 1 is. But, I mean, not just crazy, crazy numbers. So, I'm going to try to get that. I definitely know I'm going to get that. Uh, there are a few people up chasing. Um, Khalil Watson. Yeah, I think it's Watson. Um, Jack Lider. I mean, pitchers are not going to be huge chases, but Jack Lider will be. Um, who else? There was another one. I think Max Muncy, crazy say, not that Max Muncy for the Dodgers, but Max Muncy for the A's was not in draft, so he'll be a definite chase. Um, but yeah, that's coming out next month. That'll be towards the end of next month. Uh, we'll have Don Ross for a while. Probably a few more top series. Try to find some mosaic. Probably going to start holding out from either just hangers, because I've heard good things about the hangers a little more than the um blasters and probably try to find and dig for some megas love to get a couple met hold of a couple megas and mosaic uh contenders football when that's out going to really try to push for that i mean in the comments you know make it you know again you know if you like the video hit, get the, hit that thumbs up you know subscribe if you haven't already but yeah, put it in the comments too. Kind of, what is something <clears throat> hobby 
it's hard to get. I mean, I'm not in the price range right now to be able to afford a whole lot of hobby. Um, I have to be selective in what I buy hobby-wise. Uh, I found a couple good places to get retail. Hopefully, they stay available <laughs> over the next few years. Or next few years. Well, even next few years, yeah. Next few months, years, and everything. Um, let's see. There was something... There is something I'm going to chase after that I might try to buy through retail or through hobby for a surprise. I'm going to hope if it, if it works out, I'm going to look for a surprise video. It's probably going to be about a month before I can do it. But within the month, I'm hoping to have a nice surprise video for you guys. So. All right. Well, that's Don Ross. A couple openings of Don Ross. Hope to have some more. Hopefully get some purple. I mean... I didn't spit purple, didn't really read the box like I should have for soccer. And, you know, we went a few boxes of soccer without getting anything, picked up a few boxes, and boom, there they were. So, we'll see. Down the road, guys. See you down the road.